Are you looking for a new home, but the thought of house hunting with your kids in tow really makes you cringe? We've got five tips today that'll make house hunting with children just a little bit easier. Hey everyone, it's Shelly Killinger here from the Shelly Killinger Group at Remax CSI. Welcome to Feels Like Home, our weekly real estate chat. And today we are talking about house hunting with your kiddos and five ways you can make that process just a little bit easier. So I have to say, I have two young children myself. We house hunted with one of them. We only had one back then and it was hard enough. And I see buyers every day struggling with their kiddos, trying to focus on the house, trying to focus on the features and make the decision that's best for their family. And it's just hard when the kids are distracted. So we have five tips today that hopefully will make it a little bit easier if you find yourself in that situation. So our first tip is to not bring them to every house if that's possible. What I like to recommend to my buyers is find a babysitter for your children for the majority of the house hunting that you do. Bring your children at the very end. Whenever you have it narrowed down to three houses, these are your top three picks, and then you can bring them in. It's less overwhelming for your children, and it's more fun if it's only a few houses, and they feel like they're involved in the process. But trying to take them to every single house that you tour is going to be overwhelming to them. So the second tip is really a simple one. It's to get your children interested in the new community that they're moving into. Show them where the schools are, show them where the parks are, maybe check out the library or the local dance studio, maybe go to a fall festival or a Christmas something or other that's going on in the neighborhood that you want to move into and just show them how much fun it's going to be in their new community. And a lot of times that will help get your kid on board with moving. The third tip is a good one and it is brand new snacks and brand new toys. And I, I say this from experience, every time I get on an airplane, I give my children something new. Whether it's finger puppets that they've never seen or a different type of snack that they've never had before, it will keep them occupied longer. If you're bringing the old toys that they've played with for months on end, they're not going to be very interested in them and they're going to probably get distracted quicker rather than, or sooner rather than later. So bringing new toys or toys that are only for house hunting, so you keep them in a bin in the car and you only bring them out when you're about to tour a house, that becomes exciting for the kids. And then they haven't played with them so much, so it's new for them as well. So new snacks and new toys are definitely a good tip for house hunting. The fourth tip is to get your children involved in the house hunt process. Maybe give them a job. For my three-year-old, for example, I would probably give her a little list. For example, could you count how many windows are in the house? Or could you figure out how many doors are in the house? Or could you see if it has the big backyard that we're looking for? If you give them a job, even the youngest of children will feel involved and be excited about walking into the next house. Now for older kids, perhaps you would give them the job of researching the community that you're moving into. Find out how many dance studios are there. Find out if they offer after school activities. You know, what after school activities would you be interested in? Ha giving them a job, making them feel involved in the process is really important to the kids and it's going to get them on board with the idea of moving. Tip number five is an important one and that is to know your child's limits. If you know your child is rambunctious and is going to probably have a hard time keeping himself contained in somebody else's house for very long, then maybe you say to your realtor, you know what, we're touring five houses today. Could we maybe stop at a park halfway through so that my, my kiddo can run off some energy? And I doubt, I doubt your realtor is going to have a problem with that. It's going to make showings easier for everybody. Or for example, if you know that your child has to take a nap at 2 p.m. every single day or it's going to be a nightmare, then let your child have the nap at 2 p.m. Do your showings before, do your showings after, group them accordingly so that your baby can have the nap and everyone is more focused and happy. So those are five quick tips to help make house hunting with children just a little bit easier. I know it's tough guys, but I hope that you've found some value in this video. Please do feel free to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our weekly videos or market updates. And also leave your comments and questions down below. We love to see that you're interested and we'll certainly get answers to those. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you next time. Hey, if you liked that video and you want to learn more about the real estate market or about buying and selling real estate, 
be sure to hit the subscribe button down below.